2001 P. Sacagawea dollar struck on a nickel planchet. Graded in mint state 61 by NGC. The strike is nearly flush with the upper right obverse and lower right reverse borders. The difference in size between the dollar dies and nickel planchet has resulted in the loss of only the top half of the letters in the words United States of on the reverse and a few minor details along the lower left obverse border. All features that are present are fully impressed and sharp, the surface is bright with satiny mint brilliance. A thin, shallow obverse scuff over and behind Sacagawea's head is the only impediment to a higher mint state grade. It was sold for $10,200. Number 3. 1953 S. Franklin Half Dollar with Full Bell Lines. Graded in Mint State 65 FBL by PCGS. This FBL gem Franklin Half Dollar offers outstanding quality and eye appeal. Both sides are highly lustrous with an intense satin to softly frosted texture. The complexion is overall brilliant and snowy white, with traces of gold and bronze patina near the borders. The remarkably full strike is sure to result in a strong realized price as the 1953S is the rarest half dollar of this type with full bell lines detail, and by a wide margin. Even in choice mint state such pieces are elusive, while in gem uncirculated, as here, examples are usually encountered only once in a very long while. It was sold for $26,400. Number 2. 1911 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. A nearly flawless example boasting uniform golden apricot coloration across each side. Rich, matte-like luster blankets the fields, creating a lightly proof-like complexion across the reverse. Remarkably sharp for the issue and immensely attractive to examine in hand. A microscopic mint-made planchet flaw below the M of America is the only discernible pedigree marker. Highly sought after by registry set collectors in this lofty grade it ended up selling for $42,000. Number 1. 1932S Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. Wisps of iridescent pinkish copper and cobalt blue toning enhance the frosty mint luster on both sides of this appealing gem. Sharply struck and exceptionally well preserved for an issue that is scarce even at the MS65 grade level. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. This rare specimen was sold for $43,200. If you enjoyed this exploration into rare US coins, be sure to subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, happy collecting, and may your pockets be filled with numismatic treasures. God's willing, See you in the next episode.